I look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. If we play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check fam? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful day. I was gonna say morning, but hey, we're here. Listen, a little behind, but we still gotta check these buttons because we got so much news and the holidays are here, so you know it's a busy time of the year. Can't go anywhere without being in some traffic. Anyway, we got so much news. The giveaways. The giveaways are upon us on the next video. Make sure you watch the next video because if you comment, on the next video, everybody will be automatically listed in the Hitbox giveaway. Once again, if you comment on the next video, you will be automatically listed in the Hitbox holiday giveaway. We got two of them. We got one for the comment section, and we got one, if you do, with the link down below. Uh, that's where we print out the comment hanging on the Christmas tree, then those will be entered in the cross-up giveaway. Both winners will be announced Christmas Day at some point. Ladies and gents, let's check these buttons. Let's go. All right, next up for them, GG Strive, a game for bitches buttons that need to be checked okay i'm obviously quoting somebody right don't come at your boy nesto anyway let's unpack this so apparently a very interesting debate right we'll go ahead and unpack this about certain pros that may not be as good as people may think versus guilty gear strive and people thinking it's an easy league versus street fighter all this stuff let's check these buttons okay so very oddly enough interesting at the same time this one jumps off with leffin y'all know the melee guy right leffin and Snake Eyes, very well known, very well beloved member of the FGC community, especially, I mean, uh, Street Fighter and whatnot. But apparently, somebody made a video, I want to say, I saw it, I want to say I saw it sometime this year. It was entitled something like seven minutes or nine minutes or something like that. It said like, uh, I'm just going to guess, but it said like seven minutes straight of pros hating left in something like that right i'll put it on the screen if i can find it and if you click on it it's basically just different clips of people shitting on left in. <laughs> basically it is saying you know he's not as good as he thinks he is or you know something he did wrong and whatnot some of it's a little more light-hearted than others but you get the point well this person here kind of took a clip a section out of that video which is the snake eyes part talking about left in and guilty gear they posted this saying this is the legacy of guilty gear strive a game for bitches Let's check out the clip. In the go to fighting games, didn't he just that try to play Street Fighter 6 and he got Shadow on? But then he went to back to like these games where, you know, the players just aren't as strong as Street Fighter players. And then he plays the cheapest shit possible and then tries to, tries to claim he's... I mean, he's not the one trying to claim he's the GOAT. It's everyone else saying that. It was... It was... It was pretty one-sided. Yeah, yeah, today, today was it's like, so easy to win in these other games. You just go and you just clean up real quick. Cheap-ass character that you can't even fight against. Okay, let's pause it right here. What does it say? For context, Snake Eyes won a major uh, GGST tournament with the lowest tier character in the game on a whim just to prove a point. All right, let's go ahead and click play on this. So good. You're a champion. Texas Showdown, the return, Snake Eyes. Guilty Gear Strive Champion. You know, it's crazy me even saying that, rolling that off the tongue is actually nuts. But you know what? Mm -hmm. This just showcases how much talent he has no matter what game he plays. And you know what? We got somebody winning with Potemkin out here. You know, sometimes it can be rare. Uh -huh. Seen it in some locals, but in the major stage. Okay. Then, of course, that FGC is reacting. I see underneath that video, people are like, I don't get the hate. Just because Snake is super skilled doesn't mean Leffen isn't also great regardless of what character he plays. Leffen has won two Evos and been in the finals for another, all with different characters, and Snake should aim for Evo if it's so easy. Others adding to that saying, okay, well then let's see him on Rev 2, or he's still bitter that he lost against Luffy, isn't he? But on the flip side, you got some people agreeing, right? Saying he's not gonna sugarcoat it, or sad to see one of my favorite franchises go this way. Down below, I see uh, Lord Solar saying, I doubt that he or any top Street Fighter players could hang long with Tekken top players. Some already tried and failed. Then it goes deeper. I see someone else saying, if it's so easy to win these other fighting games because no one is as strong as Street Fighter players, MFers need to pull up on some games like Plus R, Tekken 7, CF, and talk all that shit towards so many fighting game communities. Bro needs a reality check, the ego is too high. Rose asked this as well, saying it's crazy because even when he won Texas Showdown, no one really knew how to fight Potemkin, and still, a lot of the top, top Guilty Gear players weren't there. And the original poster adding, to be fair, I never really respected Snake Eyes. Bro think he fab when fab was the original in AC. Plus Snake Eyes, the same dude who disrespected Guilty Gear as a franchise, he a bitch. Oh, shit. Damn. 
They respond back to this saying, I have no skin either way, but I do remember when he was playing the game regularly and was not placing as well as other top players. Punk was by far outperforming him during those times when they were playing gear. All right, damn, let's go ahead and unpack this. Now it's weird, let me be real with y'all. It is weird to hear Snake Eyes name mentioned in any negative light because you don't really see that too much. Now granted, everybody here may mention a particular situation or time that they saw something they didn't like. I didn't see it, so you know, there's different experiences. But what I can't say is what I just said, you know what I'm saying? Don't really see Snake Eyes the one popping off or just talking a lot of shit from what I've seen in the past. But let's unpack what he said. How y'all feeling about that? And the reason why I wanna focus on that, right? You know, some added words to what Snake Eyes said, right? When they said a game for bitches. I don't know if Snake Eyes necessarily said that, uh, but he did say it is so easy to win in these other fighting games and you play like a broken character. Do you guys agree with that? Other people don't take likely to that, right? Because they quoted it saying, oh, it's so easy to win in these games that are not Street Fighter. Well, why don't you come and do it is what they said. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I think it's interesting is because I heard it before. I've heard this argument before and not even dealing with any of these names mentioned today. I've heard before, uh, case in point, let me know if you all agree or disagree when it comes to Sonic Fox. I've heard people say, well, look at Sonic Fox. He's supposed to be considered one of the greatest fighting game players ever, if not the greatest fighting game player ever. And when he came to Street Fighter, he didn't win anything significant as far as like Evo, Cap Cup, you know, anything big. He did place high a lot of times. Sometimes, remember, didn't he like outplace Daigo at the last Evo or some shit like that? So not obviously taking anything away from Sonic because obviously they're amazing. But I only say all this is because I've heard these things. They're like, well, look what Sonic did when they came over to, uh, you know, to Street Fighter and they didn't place as well. So they go back over there. And the reason why they say that is because of pretty much the same thing Snake Eyes was saying, right? It's because look at all these huge names. Look how thick the competition is. You can't just come over here. It takes a lot more in the Street Fighter world to place high than it would, you know, let's say in MK1 or Guilty Gear. And that's the topic right there. Do y'all believe that statement? Because like I said, I've heard it before. Hell, I've heard it a couple of times. And if you look at it from the outside, you know what I'm saying? If you're over here as a comment, as a spectator, you could probably see like, yeah, I, I could kind of see that. There's a lot, a lot of fucking killers. Now, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm newer to the NRS community when it comes to competition. Been following it for a while, but as far as like all the big names and who might be over there, and I know, I want to say Street Fighter, the, the Street Fighter competitive world is a lot bigger, isn't it? Because I thought I heard earlier this year that MK is not even allowed in Japan. Am I getting that correct? So therefore, it just leads me to believe that there's more competition in Street Fighter than there would be in MK. But... I digress. What do y'all think about that statement? In the end, do you think, nah, people are just talking shit? Or do you think, nah, he has a point. It's easier to win in these other games than it is in Street Fighter. Or do you think Guilty Gear is a game for bitches? And once again, that's not me. That's them. I'm going to be right down here while you guys blow that shit up. All right, next up for them steam perverts buttons that <laughs> need to be checked. That'll make sense in a second here. So uh, somebody by the name of Wario64 posted this saying, you can now hide your questionable games on Steam with the latest Steam client beta. This just dropped like a few days ago, right? I guess they did an update. Here you can see the screenshot. Steam client beta, December 20th. Uh, Steam client beta. The ability to mark games as private has been added and managed menu for games in the library. Read more about it here. Added a new privacy page to the app properties dialog with the new privacy settings. The hidden option is also available on this new page. Added a private mode indicator to the manage button if it has been enabled. Okay, like some of you might be thinking, because I could see it in the comments here, right? Some people are like, ah, uh, this has been a thing. So why are we talking about it? Like I've been able to hide stuff. But as others point out, they're like, no, 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 no. What you're talking about is uh, you can hide it, but it only hides it for you. It doesn't hide it. Like if it, people can see it, I guess, if it's in your public library, you can see them talking about right here, right? The feature you're talking about is hiding games from you and you only in your library. Angel says, people can see those? And they're like, uh, it's over for you. <laughs> And then it continues on, you can see the memes. Um, I love there's so many people saying either don't hide it or I refuse to hide the truth. <laughs> a lot of people are like, don't be a coward, let it rock. Which leads me to wonder what the fuck games is out there that people is hiding? Like I, I get if you're looking at some other sites, but gaming, what games is we having to hide? I don't, I'm not, 
Like, what is out there like that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, just some quick little freaky buttons for y'all to check on this blessed Saturday. How y'all feeling? Apparently, these people's feeling real good. Let me know. All right, next up to this urgent matter of a pro player from Brazil, buttons that need to be checked. This one's a special, uh, more. this is just more to get the word out. I was tagged in this multiple times. Apparently there's a pro player uh, in Brazil, qualified for the CPT, but was denied. Denied, I guess his visa, his passport, um, in the most disrespectful way possible, right? So we're basically just trying to get the word out there um, to see if anybody knows, because apparently this happened before and they were able to get this resolved. But anyway, let's check these buttons. Uh, Davi, Davi posted this saying, uh, when Conqueror had his visa denied, making noise was the only thing that worked. Now, Nami is facing the same issue. He earned his spot and he might not be able to compete. Tagging Capcom fighters as well, any help to make this situation known is appreciated. I even see Mena RD quote retreating this as well. And I see they actually did a whole article on that. So once again, I'll put the link down below. Definitely check it out. I see last time Nami posted saying, um, guys, unfortunately my visa application was denied. The person didn't even look at my documents. It was very disrespectful. Even though I had letters from Capcom stating that I was going in intention of competing and representing my country with the ticket and hotel already paid by Capcom itself. Holy shit, isn't this crazy? You have all this documentation you have everything you need only for the person not to give a shit about your trip or your work or anything like that that is crazy i don't know if they did that because they they didn't understand you know it was esports or gaming or if they're just an asshole altogether but yo if anybody out there can help this man get in contact with the right people apparently like they said somebody went through it before and they were able to get a solution so y'all reach out i'll put all their links down below let them know there it is ladies and gents definitely let me know how you are feeling thank you guys once again for all the amazing love hey Remember, tomorrow, if you comment on tomorrow's video, I'm, I'm gonna try to post it in the morning, but we'll see, right? Uh, but leave a comment, and you are automatically entered for the Hitbox giveaway that will re be revealed sometime Christmas Day. Not only that, everybody that entered into the Christmas tree giveaway, if you want information on that, the link is down below. We will also announce the winner um, on that special video. So basically Christmas Day, we're gonna release a video at some point where we, one, announce the winner from the Hitbox giveaway, and where we, two, announce the winner for the cross-up uh, giveaway as well. And then on that video, we'll read your comments and all that good stuff. So it's gonna be a special time. Anyway, I was supposed to say, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. I'm, I'm flustered, y'all. I'm excited because now I know I can go hide some games. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get at it right now, matter of fact. There's a lot of shit I gotta hide. Anyway, it's about to get better. Blah, 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 subscribe. Oh, you can. And now into that special moment of FGC bliss. This one right here is from at Tong Never Sleeps. I'll put their information on the screen. Their link down below. Definitely check them out. This shit is hilarious. Y'all remember we talked about the other day, everybody was talking about the Twitch meta with the black bars, right? These streamers are basically butt naked and they're putting bars over themselves to try to get away with it, right? Anyway, here at uh, Tong Never Sleeps, I guess they were at a recent tournament they kind of did some of their own meta. Enjoy. On my right, Mr. Tong Lee, how you doing, buddy? Hey, guys, what's going on? I don't know why, I mean, I get it for Ospel, but I don't know why they got it over my face. Is it because I talk too much shit, or is it because <laughs> it of, oh, it's because oh. of, what the fuck, man? What is, <laughs> Proxy showing too much skin up top, bro. <laughs> bro, don't be mad at the artistic nudity today, okay? We're here to keep up with all the trends, all right? We got to get this first match going as soon as possible, though. Ospo <laughs> can't flex any harder, bro. <laughs> He's going to catch a cramp. 